All right, guys, you're looking for a neighborhood that has two gated entrances, not just one, but it has another gated entrance inside of it, or a kid's play set, or two pools at one of the pool houses. If that's a neighborhood you're looking for and you're moving to the Oklahoma City, Oklahoma Metro, this video is one you're gonna wanna stick around for. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button so you can see all of our relocating to, moving to, moving within a city, vlogs, neighborhood vlogs, video tours of the neighborhoods and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of robert and i's new videos and as always give us a call shoes text send us an email so we can help you when you're relocating to moving to and moving within the oklahoma city and the oklahoma city metro area all right so today we are going to talk about iron horse ranch <clears throat> a beautiful neighborhood in edmond on <laughs> coffee creek and coltrane <clears throat> there's actually a few other subdivision or divisions, uh, neighborhoods that are part of Iron Horse Ranch as well. But this one, we're talking about the original Iron Horse Ranch. Um, as he mentioned earlier, we do have a second gated neighborhood inside of this neighborhood. It's White Oak. Uh, lots are a little bit larger. Square footage is a little bit larger on a lot of those homes. Uh, so prices do uh, tend to go up, but very, very beautiful neighborhood. Uh, real close to <clears throat> uh, I-35. You can get to I-35 within you know five minutes. Uh, there is... Uh, uh, the Centennial Elementary School is right across the street, so very gr very good if you have small children uh, in elementary school because you can just walk them to school in the mornings uh, to avoid the traffic. Um, the uh, it is it is Edmond Memorial and Centennial Mi or Central Middle School uh, in this neighborhood as well. One of the cool things about Iron Horse Ranch, too, Robert, is you're just 25 minutes from Oklahoma City. Uh huh. You're only 20 minutes from Guthrie. Mm -hmm. And if you have family in Yukon, you're only 36 minutes from them. That is correct. Yes, you can you can get to Yukon fairly quickly because you jump on the 35s that connects to the Turnpike. The turnpike goes right through over to uh, Yukon, so it's it's a great location to get to Yukon and around. Uh, you know, get to a lot of the convenience of uh, you know Chisholm Creek over on you know Western and Memorial. Uh, there's a lot of great shops over there right up in Memorial, and I can get there in 20 minutes from here. So it's a great, uh, great location in getting to accessing highways, uh, going north even, getting to Guthrie's not hard, getting to the turnpike that now heads east uh, when you're heading to Choctaw. You can get onto that new turnpike that heads south once you get to uh, over there by Luther. So great location, really good. Um, some of the other things around here are uh, some of the amenities they have in the neighborhood. Uh, I wanna talk about that now. We'll do some videos where you guys can see this, but they have a neighborhood gym in here. So it has a handful of ellipticals, uh, two ellipticals, two treadmills, two bikes, a rowing machine, uh, some cardio equipment or uh, some aesthetic equipment in the um, other room. It's got some dumbbells, uh, ball, things of that sort, uh, walking trails all around. So it's very beautiful. Uh, four ponds, uh, all with water features in them. So very, very beautiful neighborhood. As you can see behind us, yes. These are two of the ponds. Uh, walk through and, and as you go back all the way back there, it goes around to the back. There's a little bridge that goes over it, which is really cool. It's back in the trees. Beautiful, especially in the fall. You get up in the mornings, run around the neighborhood, sit outside, have your coffee. Beautiful day like today. It just feels great outside. And this is just uh, the, the scenery here is, just, is gorgeous. You just want to sit outside and enjoy this. I mean, why would you not, right? You can have your family minis at your neighborhood every single year. Oh yes, oh yes. This is definitely where you'd want to be. I mean, this is a, they, they've got a clubhouse that you can rent out um, and, and the pool that's right behind it. But yeah, you can have family gatherings here and if you got big celebrations, big parties with a lot of people, you can rent out the clubhouse as well for you know X amount of time on days and beautiful clubhouse, very large, can fit a lot of people. So if you have a large family or just a large gathering, Great, even if your house isn't quite where you want to be, you can do it here at the clubhouse, which is centrally located in the neighborhood. Um, all the ponds have uh, fishing, they're stocked. Uh, it's catch and release, but it's great. There's another pond that is, can't see it here, but kind of around towards the back, it's kind of a hidden pond. So you'll see, you'll see the first three up here at the front, and then there's one that's kind of hidden in the back. It's, it's very cool. So it, when you're walking the trails, you're constantly getting good scenery. And they have, of course, sidewalks all throughout the neighborhood as well. So you're not just seeing the uh, scenery around the ponds and in the main areas, but you're, you can walk all through the neighborhood and you know, run around and check. It's, it's great. Yeah. And the playground is really 
on par with like city <clears throat> playgrounds. It's a massive playground. It has two slides on it, it has a rock wall, it has swings, it has the little kiddo swings, it has the crazy lily pad spinny swing thingy that I still don't understand how that works. <laughs> if, if you guys know how that one works, put it down in the comments below because I don't have a yeah, clue I, what that one's good for. I'm sure if I was five or six, I'd probably enjoy it, but nah, I, I don't get it at this age. Yeah, so. it, it's great. And that's and that, that was redone uh, just probably, I want to say, three, four, maybe five years ago at most. So and the reason Robert and I are updated. looking that way is because it's right over there. Yes, it's right, it's right over our shoulder. So uh, just checking it out as we talk about it to get a better idea and view of it. But uh, beautiful. And, of course, there's tons of trees throughout the neighborhood. So, uh, you know, you got a nice, hilly, wooded neighborhood uh, with a lot of extra additional features so <clears throat> the HOA um, as well it has um, a, a lot of events that we put on they wow. they they do food trucks um, you know depending on the time of the year sometimes you may get a food truck three four times a month sometimes it's once a month but they'll do that they'll they'll do celebrations I think uh, 4th of July we have uh, an event here that uh, you know they do to raise some uh, funds to help different charities uh, so they'll do that they'll they'll walk around the neighborhood and people pitch in and and we put a lot of things up it's it's great it's it's really a good setting so you got that uh, they'll do pool parties for the neighborhood uh, I know in the past I know they've set up with uh, live bands uh, here in the parking lot at the clubhouse let people come down you got food trucks you got a live band so there's a lot of things that this neighborhood does with the HOA that is very great uh, it, 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 something you would really really enjoy doing if you're somebody who likes to get into your community into a neighborhood you live in this is a neighborhood that is very active and very together and and does a lot of cool things so weekend staycations are easily accomplishable oh, here yes. at this neighborhood yeah, yeah if you don't want to go anywhere there's a lot of times there's going to be things going on so i i, I did get word that they're actually having a food truck like this saturday and uh, very good food from that food truck i know what food truck it is and it is amazing so something that you know if you're in the area, you may want to swing by and get you some food. Do they have the gates open whenever they're doing events like that, or is it more they keep the gates closed and it's just the No, the gates are still closed, and they usually have it open on Sundays for open houses when homes are for sale. So they usually, because we typically do have homes for sale in this neighborhood, they typically have it open from 3 to 5, somewhere around in there. Um, that way, or uh, 2 to 5, I think it is, uh, so that you can get in and out of the neighborhood and check it out. But as far as the HOA events, um, I don't know if they open it up for that or not, but probably wouldn't be a bad idea. But also, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I'm not sure they open it up for that event, but they do a lot of the really cool events around the neighborhood. So if you're a part of it, you can join. And you were mentioning open houses, Robert. You uh, you actually built your own home in this neighborhood. I did. What are the houses square footage? What do the houses go for nowadays in this neighborhood? So over the last year, we've had 31 properties sold in this neighborhood. There's currently five pending and two active. Um, square footage is the minimal in uh, some of the areas is 2,500. Uh, if you're in White Oak, the minimal is, I believe, 3,300. Wow. Um, so it just kind of depends on where you're at. The lots in White Oak uh, typically start around three tenths of an acre, whereas the lots throughout the rest of it are typically around a quarter of an acre. Wow. So it kind of fluctuates a little bit there, of course. So uh, I've seen homes, you know, in the 4,000, almost 5,000 square foot range. <laughs> so you've got a, a very wide range. You got anywhere from, you know, 20, I, I really haven't seen much under 2,700. Most of them, even though 25 was a minimal, most of them I see are 2,700 and above uh, on, the, on the smaller end. Uh, going up to mid 45 almost 5,000 a lot of these homes do have you know bonus rooms plus studies upstairs uh, a lot of them aren't just one story some of them mine is <laughs> some of them aren't uh, beautiful beautiful neighborhood your price ranges uh, you're looking probably around 450 to you know depending on the square footage somewhere some can get upwards of the million uh, price mark average is uh, around a 735 is, is about an average between all of them. So, you know, when you take a, you know, the four, 450 ish to roughly a million, maybe a little bit over on some of those, uh, you average out at about 735 on an average price in the neighborhood. And Robert was saying too, the square footage is 3,000 up to 5,000 square feet. So, mm -hmm. even though those numbers might seem a little high, that's super affordable for the size of homes in this neighborhood. 
Yes, yes. That's super affordable. Yes. That, the, Oklahoma is the fifth most affordable state in the union when it comes to your housing. So being able to get one of these massive mansions for that price, <laughs> wow, the, that is the, awesome. Uh, the, the homes in here, again, you know, with the HOA that you have in here, you're getting a beautiful home in a beautiful neighborhood with a lot of really cool activities for the family. If you've got a family, especially with young kids, they've got so many great things going on. So this is really a great neighborhood. If you're somebody who likes to be involved in your neighborhood, not just your community, the city you live in, but also the neighborhood you live in, this is a beautiful place to be. You, you would love it. You just absolutely would. So, of course, as you can see in the background, I mean, it's just... I mean, those walking trails there, and then there's, we'll show you the pool on the other side of the clubhouse with, uh, and, it, and it has two pools, like you mentioned earlier, there's two pools in the neighborhood. One is uh, roughly, I would want to say a foot to a foot and a half deep. Uh, it's more for your toddlers and little kids that aren't really swimming yet, kind of a little, uh, little pool area they can play in and have fun. And then down below, you have the larger pool for everybody else. Uh, a lot of adults just hang around, sit around outside of it. Uh, the pool is five feet in the middle deep in the middle and then as you go to the edge all the way around just about three three foot deep so a lot of kids can play and as long as they stay more towards the edge of it they're not getting they're not having to worry about it being too deep for them so it's 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 great uh, there's always lifeguards on duty you do need to check the pool hours it's not a come and go as you please there are hours and you cannot get in unless they have it open there's no key to get in uh, they give wristbands out that you can get in once the pool has been opened because we do have lifeguards on duty all is the it time. seasonal it is. Seasonal? It is okay. seasonal, yes. So uh, Labor Day probably? I believe so. Uh, I know there have been times where we've maybe pushed it a little bit, just depending on the weather, but usually, yes, that's the case. And of course, once you the school starts, like school starting now, the pool's not opening until, I want to say, dead. 4.35. This, this is always busy. It's oh, yeah. so dead right now. Yeah. Well, we're in the middle of the school. School day, just so. started, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the, the, the lifeguards, you know, because typically they're younger lifeguards, yeah, typically college, maybe even high school. Uh, you know things of that sort so a lot of them they get here when they get off there's a company that we use and and so the hours do change uh, once we hit this time of the year because of school starting and when their availability is for them to come and do the uh, lifeguarding so yeah it's a it's it's a great neighborhood though you, it, if you're looking in the Edmond area uh, again the you know quarter acre lots with large houses so usually not a huge yard but if it is a if you're not looking for a I mean big enough for a pool uh, and some of them it just depends on how the property sits on the, the land but a great beautiful neighborhood you just you got to come check it out if you're in the Edmond area you got to come check it out and we got enough houses in here that there's usually stuff for sale and like Robert was saying earlier you're actually only seven miles from Sprouts from UCO you're about 10 miles from Oklahoma Christian University you're only about seven miles from the Super Walmart from the Sam's Club, the Sam's Club, mm -hmm. the Buffalo Wild Wings, mm -hmm. like you can get to so much shopping in in less than ten minutes. Oh yes, yeah. and with you can that get to downtown Edmond in ten minutes from here. It's, and with that being said, too, they do deliveries, yes, right? You yes, can get you can your get, food delivered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's plenty of restaurants that will deliver here. It's not too far out, but at this time, you know, uh, you do feel like you're just outside of the city, even though you're within ten minutes of being to pretty much anything you need. Uh, you know, gas stations, restaurants, you know, food, entertainment. Uh, you can get to a lot of places. And, of course, the highway access within five, ten minutes is great. Yeah. You know, when you're driving around town, especially as real estate agents, I'm always driving to Yukon or Oklahoma City or somewhere, and I can get there so quick because I'm not spending 20 minutes just getting to the highway yeah. to turn around and drive there still. So location-wise is is phenomenal. I love it. So, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of great things about the area. And, of course, you know, if you're in the Edmond area, you're from the Edmond area, you already know this. If you're from out of state, you may not. But uh, you're also, you know, 10 minutes from uh, Gold's Gym. And right next to Gold's Gym, you've got a handful of restaurants. There's an inner urban there. Uh, there's a couple of other places. Uh, there's a golf course right across the street from that that is Kickingbird Golf Course, which is being completely remodeled. They completely knocked down the building. They knocked down the building. They completely locked it we'll down. We'll put a link was, to that. You can 50, watch it. 50 years old. They said it's time to... Uh, renovate it and instead of just doing some updates they completely demolished it i wonder whose uncle over, has so. that construction crew for edmund <laughs> uh but they're i know they're not i believe by next summer we should be able to start golfing there again um and that's going to be it's going to be something to be seen from what i've heard it's going to be great uh so you have that right there and then you have a, a new a new cinema even though we have the one over on 35 there's a new one it was an old cinema that's in that same complex as gold's gym and inner urban and 
things of that sort. Uh, they have a somebody bought out that cinema and they're remodeling that, and that's supposed to be done in a couple of months. That's called Kicking Birds. I think Square? it's Kicking Bird. I think it's Kicking Bird Square. Kicking Bird Square. We'll Go put there a all link the time to and it. I don't know the name. We'll put a link to it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a beautiful place, and that's going to be supposedly a really cool cinema going up right there. So, and of course, again, that's another ten minutes. So you can go east or west and you're hitting the cinema within 10 minutes so it's it's really really cool that the the amount of amenities that are around here and then of course like we said if you want to go to the oklahoma city area um you know you, you got friends that you want to go see and you don't want to be right here i can get to the uh chisholm creek over on western and memorial which is a very popular area because of all the new stuff going on over there i can be there in 20 minutes max and that's so. costco that's uh yes. that hunting uh -huh. store uh cabela's cabela's there's uh -huh. an integris there but you would yeah. hit the other Integrises before you Oh, yeah, there's a handful one. of hospitals right yeah. over here, too. So yeah. Life Church is right there off of 2nd Street, 35. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a lot of times going, if I'm going west, I'll even or uh, I'll even take the back roads. Um, you know, when you're back on Coffee Creek, it's just not as, Coffee Creek, Circle Mill, not as many, there's not really businesses, it's more neighborhoods, so you get a lot of really cool driving because you're driving through a lot of trees. Deer? You yes. see deer? Yeah. Oh, deer, oh, uh, turkey. turkey. We get a lot of turkey. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. You get turkey and deer through here, don't you? We don't get as... Yes, we do. Not as much. We get a lot of geese in here. Geese. I mean, you got a lot of... Because they can here. land. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Every once in a while, we have to have them picked up uh, because we get too many of them. So, <laughs> it does happen. Uh, but a beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. Yeah, definitely worth checking out. If you guys are looking at an area in northeast Edmond, this is a really pretty neighborhood. Very beautiful homes. Very well maintained neighborhood with great neighbors. Uh, the community in here is just awesome. And with all that said, guys, we're gonna put a comment down below if you want the hot sheet on this neighborhood. Robert and I are gonna make a hot sheet on this neighborhood that will highlight everything that we talked about, that will take you to those businesses we talked about and things of that nature. And if you're relocating to move it to or moon within the Oklahoma City, Oklahoma City metro area, you absolutely have to give Robert and I a call, shoot us a text or send us an email so we can show this neighborhood to you and then any other neighborhood that you might be interested in. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.